Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really well. This video, I was umming and ahhing as to whether anyone out there would find it useful. So about six weeks ago, I saw something on Pinterest that really fascinated me and I could not find the name of it. I couldn't find out where it came from. So that got me into this massive kind of two day long search. I was typing in paper strips, paper ribbon details, personalized ribbon for small businesses. Honestly, it was so difficult for me to find exactly what it was I saw. Then on day three, up came belly bands. Belly, what? I've never heard of belly bands before in my life. I'm sure that most of you probably have, but remember guys, I'm late to most parties. Okay, once I found out what they were called, I put an Instagram post out, can someone make me belly bands? And everyone was like, Claire, I think that, I think you really should be making your own. <laughs> so I was a bit like, oh, because <laughs> my brain is lazy, guys. I'm so lazy. Anyway, belly bands are going to transform your small business makes going from this to this. And I am absolutely in love with the aesthetic that these belly bands give my trinket trays. You could use them for any product you have if they would work. Longer paper, shorter paper, whatever it is you fancy. The reason I'm sharing the video with you all is because the response I got from Instagram was so positive. So many people, A, didn't know where you could get them from or how to make them yourselves. Sometimes you know how to make things but you just don't think about it too much. My first initial thought was get someone to make those for me. And then when I really sat down and kind of got a lecture off of everyone, <laughs> I should be making them myself. Then I was like, I can do that. I can do that. I can make my own. The second one was that so many people had not heard of them. They've seen them around, but they didn't know they were called belly bands. So I figured if so many people on my Instagram didn't know they were called belly bands, then there's definitely a few people out there watching this video right now that didn't know they were called belly bands. And so I figured I would share this with you and I would share the video with you. So step number one, I needed a stamp. I needed a personalized stamp. I was looking all over Etsy, kind of eBay for people, independent small businesses themselves who design, create and sell personalized stamps. This brought me all the way back to my Instagram where Moray Lothian, if you remember, he sent me the wooden dream catcher that he made with his laser cutter. He posted an Instagram, an Instagram post where he designed a personalized stamp for a small business. And I thought, well, if that's not fate, I don't know what is. So I sent him an immediate message. This is not sponsored by the way. I bought the stamp myself. I messaged Moray and I said, this is what I need. I know what I want it to look like. I want it simple. And Moray took that straight away, created something, sent me a picture, brilliant job done. And I had that stamp in my hands within four days of ordering it. So this is what it looks like. Obviously it's backwards for you guys. Claire's crafty corner with a little, oh. <laughs> upside down but you know can't all go smoothly on this channel with a little flower detail underneath and attached to an acrylic block just making it so easy to stamp i absolutely love it so 100 percent would recommend more again not sponsored guys i bought it myself letting you know he's out there <laughs> anyway this is what they look like up close this is what my stamp look at this guys Honestly, it just made me feel like, you know, I mean, even though these are on my Etsy <laughs> and they haven't sold for a while, at least now they look pretty. Do you know what I mean? It gives them a little bit of, I don't know, you know, handmade yumminess. I always strive for handmade with love and not handmade to perfection because I am not a factory. And yeah, I absolutely, I just love them okay so the first thing was a stamp the second thing was an ink my ink is cheap my ink was like one pound and it has dried out and it's useless so here comes in my girl tony from tony's crafty decor she's over on instagram and she's over on youtube she's a mixed media artist and i just knew she was the person to ask so i messaged her what ink do i need i need a good quality ink she recommended this one and another one the other one was <coughs> 
a little bit out of my <laughs> a little bit out of my price range she's a professional she knows what she's doing so i went for this one which, which was around four or five pounds and it is absolutely stunning have you ever had a cheap ink and then you use a really good ink and it just actually works <laughs> it was like oh wow so my stamp combined with my ink were the two things i needed most in the world because I already had papers I've had these papers sitting in my craft room I cannot tell you how long for because I don't really do much paper craft I got these from the works for three pounds I got them a long while ago now so they might also be four pounds now guys they're in hobby craft for 15 pounds who are they <laughs> this is a 12 by 12 pad there's 24 sheets in here and they are all stunning. I've got two kind of really pale, pastel-y, flowery patterns, basically. And I have to say, I've used the majority of the ones that I love, I have used. I then cut those out to the width of my stamp using my guillotine. This was another question. Someone on my Instagram said, did you use a Cricut? Guys, I didn't know I could use my Cricut. Who? I... <laughs> I know Cricut cuts vinyl, but I didn't know it cut straight lines. And if it does, great. I don't know how to do it. So, gutted. I ended up by, <laughs> I ended up spending money on a guillotine when I had the Cricut sitting there the whole time. Anyway, don't be like me. <laughs> if you've got a Cricut, use your Cricut. So, all I did then was I worked out the width of my stamp. So, I'm not going to give you measurements. There's no point. Your stamps might all be different. I, I knew that I needed my stamp to fit, so I cut out a series of strips. Some of them I used scissors, by the way, so they're not all completely straight. Cut out quite a few, <laughs> quite a few strips. And I absolutely adore this paper. Find the centre-ish, again, not too bothered because it's folded underneath the tray. Try and get it as central as possible and press firmly and there is my belly band and of course the one time I smudge it I'm gonna smudge it on the camera aren't I but here you go this is what it looks like and actually <laughs> I didn't plan this but this stamp is the perfect size for these trays like can you see how the box fits just inside the top of that trinket tray absolutely amazing I wrapped it round stuck it with some tape Bob's your uncle job done i hope you found this helpful because i only really filmed this video because of the response i got over on instagram like if i didn't know and a few other people didn't know then if i can help one other person i will it will make my day so that is it small business belly bands diy i hope you've loved it and uh yeah i will see you all in the next video bye